What's up guys? For today's video we're going to put to the test Bear Grill sliding saw. Let's see what this thing is all about. Okay, let's open this thing up. Which way does it slide out? I like that. Cool. Then you can tie this up and if you want to slide it back up you just unscrew this part and fold it. Boom. Very small sliding saw. Never seen a sliding saw before, so let's go put it to the test and see how big of a branches can we cut. I have few branches over here I have to cut up. Let's say I'm camping out, I need to get a bunch of firewood. Whoa, it's so small. It's kind of getting stuck. You know what, this thing might be a little bit too much work. Let's try to flip it around and cut off pieces like this. Boom. This one's much better. Let's cut off another piece. Whew, that's a lot of work. I'm getting tired by doing this, just this little small branch. Keep getting stuck. There you go. And at the same time, these sticks are not big enough for me not to break it with my leg. So, what's the point of cutting it if I can just break it with my leg for firewood? Well, guys, in conclusion, I love the idea. The sliding saw is very compact. Open it, boom, slide it out. Awesome, very comfortable. The only complaint is, look how short it is. It's like a little knife. But we're talking about sewing something. We need at least this long for it to be usable. My favorite folding, not sliding, folding saw is the smallest one is this one. I don't think you can work with anything smaller than that. Look, it's almost two times smaller. And that makes a big, big difference, actually. If you haven't seen this video of a folding saw that I put to the test, I'll put link in description. This thing is amazing. But what I do love about this saw, I never seen a sliding saw. Boom. That's a great design. They just should make it a lot longer than that. Well, guys, let me know in comments below what do you think. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you next time.